Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season number four here in the Long Beach State Dynasty. Here we are once again for another season in the West Coast Conference, our third here in this series after being promoted from the Big West. And we have some new impact guys, including Douglas Taylor, a freshman now in the starting lineup. He's going to be a very good rebounder for us. Tony Monsetti is going to get the start here. And the reason why I did that is because he is a little bit of a better three-point shooter than James Quick. I went over the freshman James Quick and Workman in the offseason. Those two will also have impacts as well. But to open this season, we go up against Oregon, who has one of the top picks in the upcoming NBA draft in Brian Fields. He is a very good pro prospect, a center who can shoot the three ball. He is every scout's dream. And now we face off against him in the opener. Let's see what this team is made of. Zion Storm is now the leader in this lineup. He, he's always been the leader, but now he's the elder statesman now. And let's see what he can do this year in his final year. Now he has some scoring around him. Let's see if he can up that assist and get some help here on the offensive end. And here we go. Let's get this season underway as we do win the tip off. We are at Oregon and here's Tamir Macklin. He opens it up with the three already. And it's a three point lead here for Long Beach. As here's Fields with the first shot and that one is off the mark. You know they're gonna give it to him quite a bit. But here is Monsetti with the rebound running in transition. But he gets ripped this time and Fields picks it up. He's gonna take it all the way to the basket. And he gets Oregon going on offense and now it's a three to two lead here. And here we are working a little two-man game. This is a pass inside to the freshman. That is Douglas Taylor who gets the bucket on the inside. And now it's 5-2. to two. Here's a jump shot once again. This time it's Fields. He knocks it down. He's got two buckets early on for Oregon. He's now here a storm. A little iso game. Passing it around. And William Caesar misses an easy one inside. And now Oregon comes back down for possession. Here is their shooting guard, Tim Simpson, the uh, sophomore. He gets going. He is their youngest guy in the starting lineup. As now here we are working it around. Taylor on the outside now, trying to work it back inside to William Caesar. This time over Fields, he gets it to go. And now we take the early 7-6 lead. Here's Oregon working it around this time. That is Rick Movelson for the jump shot. And that makes it an 8-7 game. Here is Fields on the inside again. And you can just see their game plan is to go to Fields early and often. He's 3 of 5 to start out the game. And he's got uh, most of the points for Oregon. Missed shot this time from 3. Storm as they now get it back on offense. Bovelson again on the inside. He misses an easy one. And now here we are pushing up the court. This time it's Macklin in transition. Nobody's going to stop the ball. So he just pulls up for 3. And knocks it down. He's got two threes to start this game. This looks like it's going to be a good one. Here's Fields on the pick and roll, and he gets a foul. He gets fouled by T Douglas Taylor, the freshman. And now here we are inbound the ball, but they get another steal. And there's another jump shot. That was Saylor on the shot. And now here they are, 14 to 10 lead. The Ducks have it after that blunder of a possession. And here's Storm working around. Back to him for a corner three. He, he gets going from deep. And this game is going back and forth. Here's a deflection this time. Rebound. It looks like that is going to be good. And now Oregon, 16-13 lead. But let's see if we can come back. Here's Macklin on the drive. Missed shot. Rebound. Missed again. And he can't get both shots to go. So Oregon working it inside once again. You can see this is their strength. They like to work it inside for those easy shots. And they are very good at passing the ball. And here is Workman in the game. He gets an and one. How about the freshman Workman off the bench? He is going to be a very good provider for us because we need to get Zion Storm some breaks this year. And he could be the future of this backcourt at point guard. And now Michael Workman gets his first couple buckets. Here's a pass inside. I have no idea how that got past Workman. And now it's an early seven-point lead here for Oregon. But here is Workman now, playing some defense all the way up the court. He takes it in, and a layup. He even plays some defense, too. He's got four early points off the bench, and now it's 22-17. to 17. 
But here's Oregon this time, answering back this time. That's Simpson for three. And now that stretches it to a six point lead. So after the rebound this time, Douglas Taylor passing up to Brian Quick off the bench, and he gets fouled going to the lane. That is his strength. And remember, he was the guy I said in the offseason that he's going to be a guy that we need to get the ball if we need to get a bucket inside because he can get to the bucket with ease. He's a very good dribbler. He can also finish on the inside. He has great offensive ability. You can see he knocked down both free throws, cutting it down to a 25-21 lead. But Oregon does answer back. Now 27-21, here he is. And one over Rick Movelson. He gets it to go in traffic. And like I said, we're going to have to use that ability of his. It's definitely different from what we have rotating in. So that will be a competitive advantage for us. So now down by four early now, 27-23. Here's Contavian Morgan who checks into the game and he hits the corner three. And now it's back to a 27-26 lead. So here's a pass inside. This time it's Movelson and he gets going. It's been Movelson and uh, Brian Fields going in this one on the inside. And now here they are double teaming. A corner three this time. It's Macklin who knocks it down. And he gets going and now it's a 31 up game. So Oregon back on defense working the inside. That's an easy bucket. Sailor, he's got eight points as well. So now here is Storm in the corner. Eight seconds left here in the first half, down by two. He's trying to work for a three. He just takes a deep one, and it's off the right rim. And Oregon rebounds, heaves it up at halftime, and that's how this one goes into half. A very good half of basketball by both teams. This was an exciting game. This is an Oregon team who is on the cusp of top 25 here, and it is going to be 33-31. We are keeping up with them. Second half coming next. So we are shooting 35% from the field. They are shooting 44. So I, honestly, we're keeping up with them. I'm very, very optimistic about how this game will end. So here they are working it inside the fields once again. He gets going. Another jump shot. And now it's a four-point lead. So here is Storm. Down by four. And he takes the three. Now just a one-point lead here for Oregon. Let's see if we can play some defense. Here they are working it inside, but that's going to be a foul that time on Monsetti. And now that's Garrick Sparks who goes to the line. And now here we are down by three. Running a full-court trap is Oregon. This time Monsetti in traffic, and he can't get it to go. He got the foul call on uh, Mavelson. And now it's going to be a four-point lead here for Oregon after that jump shot. So here is Storm back on offense, getting the pick from Monsetti, taking it all the way inside, and he gets the easy layup to go. Now a four-point lead back down for Oregon. Here they are working inside. I mean, to the outside. Movelson. They have big men who can shoot the three as well, and that is Fields and Movelson hitting threes in this one. And now here we are, down by seven. Storm gets the pick, throwing it back across the court. Caesar in the post, but look at Macklin. He's wide open in the corner. You're not going to get it to him. He gets it. He shoots the three, and it's good. Now back to a four-point lead. This game keeps going back and forth. So here is Monsetti in the corner, working it inside to William Caesar again. Baby hook, and he gets it to go. Now it's down to a two-point lead here, 46-44. But here they are working it inside, this time to the point guard, Dante Saylor, and he gets it to go. It's now a four-point lead once again for Oregon. Pick and roll action. Macklin in the corner. He hits it. Back down to a one-point lead, but Oregon will just not let this lead go. Another jump shot. It's Sailor again. And now it's to a three-point lead. 52 to 50, 49. And here's another bucket just outside of the paint. And that's what they do. They are just getting buckets after bucket. Another one. That is going to be Garrick Sparks back-to-back -back buckets. And now it's back to a seven-point lead. This lead just evaporates just like that. But here's a deep three miss this time. And that is off the mark by Zion Storm. Opening it up to possibly have a double-digit lead. But a fadeaway two, and it's good. Wow, they are hitting all kinds of shots. We just need to come up with a stop here. Here is Sparks handling the ball once again. A fadeaway. And he hits it from the free throw line. It's now an 11-point lead. Oregon is starting to go on a little bit of a run. But Macklin brings us back down to earth. He hits that jump shot. And here is Workman now in the game. He misses it. 
and Oregon gets the rebound. Now a nine point lead. They can stretch it back to a double digit lead. Here's a drive to the basket and a foul on James Quick, the freshman. Erickson goes to the line, hits both free throws, and now Oregon looks like they're in control. They're just hitting jump shots left and right. 67 to 56, two and a half to go. Morgan checks in, he hits a three. It's back to an eight point lead. And here's Workman now, trying to bring us back. He gets a pick, pass it inside, Madoki hits it. It's now a six point lead. We're making it interesting here, under two to go. But here's Oregon now. Let's see if they can put in the dagger. And there it is, there is a baby hook that time. Eight point lead, now we need some threes. Workman working it back inside, back to him. And now it's a six point lead. I guess the dagger wasn't there. It's now 69-63. Here is James Quick now, trying to get to the lane. He is our best one-on-one -on -one ball handler off the bench. Quick does get the foul. He goes to the line, fields, fouls him. Now we're gonna start to bring our starters back in. So James Quick has four points in this game. He goes to the free throw line. The first of two is good. Now to a five point lead. The second free throw is good as well. And he does come off. We need Monsetti in there for his scoring. And now here's Fields. A fade away two. And now it's a six point game. We need to hit a three here, maybe a and one. And Storm gets to the line and gets the foul on Molson. And Zion Storm has not been himself this game. Eight points, three of 12 shooting. He goes to the line and he misses the first. We really need to knock that one down. Now with 39 seconds left, the second attempt is good. Now a 66-71 lead, and we have to start to foul them, put them on the line, and that's going to put Saylor on the line. He's got 14 points in this game, 6 of 10 from the field, and let's see if he can put this game away. If he hits two, it's probably going to be put away, and the first one is good. We really needed him to miss that one, but the second one is good as well. Now a 7-point lead here. Under 30 seconds, working it to Taylor. Monsetti on the inside, and he gets blocked. And that is Sparks on the block. And now they get fouled, but they will eventually run out this clock. 75 to 66 ends up being the final score. Oregon was tremendous in this one, but we kept up with them the entire way. I'm proud of these guys. We played a very, very tough team. Like I said, that was a team that's on the cusp of top 25. I believe they came into the season RPI ranked at 27. So that is a very good team. They have Brian Fields, one of the best players in the country, a national player of the year candidate preseason wise. And we came close, but I think we came away with some good signs in that game because we can compete with the best teams in the NCAA. I know it this year. And I think this is our year to make noise, especially being in a preseason tournament and just seeing what we did here. Macklin at 18. Uh, how about Douglas Taylor had nine rebounds. If he can give us nine rebounds every game, that's gonna be extremely useful, especially versus a guy as good as Fields. I mean, he was snagging rebounds left and right, but Fields did have 18 and six, Sparks had 14 and seven, and Saylor had 16, three and three. So now we move on to the next game. I said I wanted to play some Pac-12 teams this year. So next we go up against Washington State. And the reason why I want to do that is because I eventually want to get promoted into the Pac-12. So we will play those teams and hopefully take one of their spots. And here we are up by 22 points versus Washington State. We're going to hop into this one and finish this one out. So here we are with a 22-point lead. Washington State gets going with the bucket. And that one trims it back to 20, but we'd be crazy if we choked this lead away. Here is Monsetti in the corner. He's got 24 already, make it 27. And he knocks that one down. And now here is Storm now in another corner three. This time, foot on the line, it looks like. 70 to 47 now. And I think they did count that one as a three. So now 70 to 47, a deflection. And look at this, Douglas Taylor gets it going up to Zion Storm. And now 72 to 48. Here is Storm, pick and roll, get into the bucket. Storm is one of the fastest players in the nation. You give him a pick and he gets around that corner, he's going to the lane back to back. Another one, 76 to 50 now. 
So missed jump shot this time. Washington State rebounded by Douglas Taylor. Such a good outlet passer. Passing up to Storm, and he just pulls up from three. It's now a 79-50 game. Storm is going off here in the second half. Another pick and roll. They just do not collapse. They are so afraid of Mon City knocking down that corner three. And now here we are with a 30-point lead. Douglas Taylor getting going, and he gets the baby hook. Now our bench comes into the game. Contavian Morgan, pump fake, missed shot, rebounded. Ashley puts it in. And it's now a, what is it, a 32-point lead and 34-point lead. And we go on to win this game by 34 points. LBSU rebounds after that loss versus Oregon. And Tony Mon said he had 27 in this game. A very good second half by Zion Storm. Douglas Taylor shows what he can do. He gets rebounds, throws out the outlet pass. I think our transition game is going to be better than what we thought this year because of that. And then we have William Caesar on the inside getting rebounds. He had 13 in this game. Monsetti had two blocks. Taylor had one block. Caesar had one block. I mean, if we can play good defensively like that all the time, it's going to be a scary team. Zion Storm had 18 and 11. Macklin had 16. And then Monsetti led all scorers with 27. So next we go up against UMBC Retrievers. We all know them as the big Cinderella team a few years ago, but they stood no chance in this one. You can just see we hopped out to a 30-point lead here halfway through the second half, and we end up winning this game 86-55. to That was a pretty easy game, and you got to have those on the schedule to kind of warm up your team. We actually out-rebounded them by over 20 points, 20 rebounds. So in the last game here in this episode, we go up against Lafayette. Now, I did not notice when I was doing this that this is actually the first uh, round of the uh, Puerto Rico Invitational. And we just beat them 92 to 54. Now, why is this significant? Because this is the number one seed in the tournament. We were the eighth seed in the tournament. We just beat the number one seed 92 to 54. Incredible. So far, Tony Monsetti leads all scorers 21.8 points per game. Tamir Macklin and Zion Storm both average 14. Storm is averaging a double double so far 14 and 10. Very, very good start to the year. And that's what I hoped for him. He can get going with his uh, passing game, two man game, all of that. I I'm very, very excited for this season. It's going to be very fun to play with this team. How about William Caesar, though? Almost averaging a double double of his own. He's averaging 9.5 and 10.3 points. Douglas Taylor is averaging over 10 rebounds a game as well. I hope we have two guys rebounding over 10 a game. That would be pretty cool. So next episode, we hop into the Puerto Rico Invitational, our first in-season tournament. So I'm very, very excited for that. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these.